Yeah. Less video for today and less video of this week and less TikTok. If you count those as videos, I kind of know. But I will have to post on TikTok because I haven't posted a while on there. But anyways, less video on YouTube for this week anyways. Um, the last one was one I have not danced in like, oh my god, I think since 2015, that song, because I started listening to it in 2013, a year after it came out and everything. But then it's like, when I, so, cause I actually started dancing again in 2015 because um, when I was three, I started actually dancing, dancing. Like, um, there's quite a bit of song. Like, if I actually knew a song, I would dance to it no matter what. Even if I didn't know how to dance to it, I'd dance to it. And that's how I was when I was younger. Like, more off graceful songs, like, um, White Houses, I forget who it's by, but, um, I miss that song as well, because I used to dance to that as well in, in 20, actually not 2015, 2014 was the last, because technically I was dancing again, but I wasn't freestyle dancing, I was more of ballet dancing in 2014. So I didn't really count that as actually beginning to dance again and come out of my shell. Unless you you guys see then technically 2014 is when I started dancing again. But um, when I was younger, like if it was a more off graceful song and everything, I would do ballet. Like Sarah he Hitori, at some points it can be very graceful and it can be a slower beat, but then at other points it's more off, it gets faster and everything, so that's why I mix both ballet and freestyle together in that song a little bit, kind of, as well as Catch Me When I Fall by Luhan, because I love both of those songs, and uh, I like to mix both the freestyle and the ballet, kind of, in both of those songs for dancing to them, um, so, yeah, but anyways, when I was younger, I would I was mostly doing ballet, even though I was never in any ballet classes, and yet for some reason I knew how to do ballet moves. And yes, it is quite a bit of spinning and everything, but um, when you do ballet, you also know how to kind of spin kick and other stuff, and it's, it can be a way to learn some combat. Not, not full-on combat, like hand-to-hand -hand combat and everything, but it is a way... As well as just dancing in general, you can learn how to dance, fight, and everything sometimes. So, but um, when I was younger, when I was three years old, I was almost always dancing if there was music, or I was almost always singing. Like even younger me did not care as for a single thing, and that's that was because when I was three years old, like when I first turned three, I was. That was probably the only point where I was somewhat a child, but then, like, after a month of being three, that's when things started to happen, and that's when I started to hate life, which is why I say I have no childhood. I grew up way too quickly. Yes, um, when I lived with my foster families, because I had to. Um, I would act like a child, and that was only to show them that I was happy, even though I really was not. And it's also because I didn't want them to be worried about me, and I was already going to therapy at the time, which I really don't want to be sent to therapy again. Yes, the lady I had was nice. It's just trying to lie to her that about some things and everything, and trying to say, yeah, I'll try acting my age and not trying to be immature it would it was just it was hard and everything because she wanted me to be someone who I wasn't she wanted me to try and act like a child again she, even though I, I was only a child for maybe like a month which is why I don't count it because it was like right after I turned three and everything and that was like the only time I was really a child child because when you're 
one to two years old, you don't really... Like, yeah, I somewhat do and everything I do somewhat remember some things, but not a whole lot. But it's like, at that time, you don't remember much, you don't do much, you're still, like, <laughs> you're still potty training and everything like that. So it's technically not really a childhood, you're still just technically a baby and stuff. It's when you're three is when you actually start your childhood. Um, I didn't really have that. Which is why, uh, for Challenge Day, the last question, were you ever a child? Or did you ever have a childhood? I didn't cross the line. For both challenge, challenge Days, last year and this year, I did not cross the line for it. For either one, because I don't count it for that one month. But also, it's just the fact of what happened and everything, it, it just, it ruined everything for me and it kind of somewhat ruined my life because while I was three, uh, when it started, that's when my depression started and everything. That's when I had suicidal thoughts and everything as well as suicidal thoughts probably ended in fourth grade because uh, that's when I first started wanting to join the Air Force because because my brother was saying he wanted to join the Army. Yes, now he wants to join Marine Corps, but at the time, um, him and our cousin both wanted to join Army. I said I wanted to join a branch of military, but I was unsure, but then I decided Air Force. Um, but then fifth grade is when I finally started having, finally started seeing what I wanted to be and everything. Listening to K-pop for like a few years, just like, I want to be a singer. But also it's because it's sometimes great to see how some of your favorite singers come up and how they just, they can either be picked off randomly off the street and they could start becoming the idol and being a trainee, training to be an idol, I mean, ugh. Or um, some of them audition like I have. Yes, I sent emails, I didn't audition at the actual places because I'm far away. Sad, sadness. But, um, yeah. But when I was younger, I was almost always dancing trying to look like I was happy and everything, um, even though depressed inside wanted to die most of the time. That's how it was for me. <laughs> I only make wanting to die jokes only because it's just, for me, it's just a random thing. I do it just randomly. I don't actually want to die. So you really won't have to worry about me that much. Yes, I do lie about how I feel when I say I'm fine sometimes, uh, and I could really just be hurting inside, and it's because of stuff that happened here at home, or because I'm just not really feeling good on a day because of certain stuff. <laughs> certain stuff. But also, it's because sometimes it's just when you have people that have made fun of you for your sexuality and everything like that, it does get quite annoying because it actually happens quite a bit in my culinary arts class. One of the people in there just likes to say, you can't be bisexual, you can't be pansexual, you can't be both guy and girl, there's only two genders, you can't be transgender, and it's like... It annoys the crap out of me how this guy thinks all this stuff. And it's like, I get it. I get it. I know. That's your opinion. But you don't always need to tell me. That's kind of what I hate. Because if you tell the person your opinion, they're of course going to be fighting back. And they're of course going to be saying, yeah, but I am pansexual. I am androgynous. I'm both masculine and feminine. Uh... So like, can you keep your opinion to yourself? Because that would be a little bit better. Like, the people that watch my videos, please, if you don't think that someone can be pansexual, bisexual, lesbian, gay, transgender, um, they can't be 
Like, if you only believe in two genders, like, or even gender fluid, like, please, just don't watch my videos then, unless you like to actually see me dancing and you want to cheer for me, but you, if you don't like the fact of me being what I am, please keep your opinion to yourself then, and please don't comment, like, the rudest comments ever, because it does hurt me when I get rude comments, or even if I get, like, the really inappropriate, gross ones that I've gotten a few times on my lives, where people are asking me to show off my belly and stuff like that, like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry. I really am not, like, I might lift up my shirt, like, a tiny bit, and that's only because it's part of the dance, but I won't actually lift it up enough where you can actually see, like, my belly, like, like, whole entire belly and everything. Because I'm self-conscious about my belly. Yes, I am quite skinny, but it's just, it's just I am self-conscious, especially having markings on my stomach from when I was younger. But it's also just the fact that I don't like comments like that on my videos. Like, really, if you're just here to comment stuff like that and you want a girl to show off her body, yes, I'm technically not a girl at the time. When I got some of those comments, I was still kind of confused on what a dragon is meant. And I was still bending towards saying that I was a female, even though I technically don't believe I am a female. I believe I'm both. I believe I'm both guy and girlish. And everything. But if you're commenting stuff like that on my videos, I will not like it. I really won't. Just like, it's not stuff I like to see. Like, I, I really don't. Like, you need to stop if you're commenting stuff like that. That or any other stuff. Like, just randomness. Like, not even caring for the video itself. Please, just leave then. Just, just get off. Just don't even watch my videos. That or if you're here just to make fun of me, just leave then as well. Like, I don't want people that are just going to make fun of me watching my videos. Like, is that really the point of my video? No, it's not. My video is for those who actually are like my friends or the people that are my sus subscribers or the people that are more of like my fans kind of that want to cheer me on and say, go for your dream. So, yeah. Yes, I know I'm venting again, but it's a little bit, like I said, it's helpful and everything. Um, yeah. But anyways, I should probably, <laughs> I should probably get to the, what the video is supposed to be. Oh, it's like, it's 11, 16? I kind of don't care. Only because I can stay up till this time and I will be fine for tomorrow and everything. I will be fine. I will be. Okay. Because I do get enough sleep even if I do go to bed at 11. Because I haven't actually woken up at like five in the morning. I've been waking up at like six in the morning. <laughs> but that's also because I don't really have to bike anymore. So it's a good thing. Anyways, this is supposed to be my dancing, like my dance thing to me. Rewind, tiny twist. But I'll put venting and both dancing to for the title, so, anyways, yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm having troubles with my phone. It's normal. <laughs> it's normal. Unlike me. <laughs>
I was not off topic when I was saying kids. Sorry. I meant to tell you guys so I started dancing in 2015. Um, I forgot when that song was made. It's probably, I think, 2014 or so. But, yeah. Like I said, I technically started dancing in 2014 with ballet. But that was when I was still listening to English music somewhat. Somewhat. Because 2015 is when I really, really got into it and everything and stuff. And that's when I started actually dancing to K-pop and going out of my shell with the music. And it was, it was pretty helpful. Um, that's when I found out that dancing was more of what helped me relieve my stress. Because when I was younger, it also helped, but I didn't really know... I don't know what stress was when I was younger. I just knew I had something wrong with me. Um, when I would dance, it would sometimes help, and I was just randomly doing random stuff. But then it's like when I stopped, I actually I stopped stopped when I was six and everything. Like, cause um, leaving my mom was sad for me. Like I couldn't really deal with it. I was more of the one that was really sad. I cried. Everything. I'm close to crying right now and I don't feel like crying because I don't like crying. Yes, it is also a good thing 
to cry and everything. I just, I don't like to cry on video, nor do I really like to cry in front of people because of how red my eyes get and how I think I look really ugly. Everything. And if you think I look cute when I have my eyes, when I cried or cute in any way at all, I must say you're weird. <laughs> Even if you're family, I must say you're weird for thinking I'm cute. But, um, I just, I really don't like crying and stuff. But when I was younger, it just, it tore me apart when I was six years old, when I was still dancing. But then, when me and the, Mmm, when me and my brother, sorry, I should not be saying names, I don't want to say names, just, his name starts with a Z, how about that, just, just, just we're gonna call my brother Z, Z, anyways, or if I get close to saying his name, I'm gonna say Z, just know who that is, just know that's my brother, but anyways, um, when me and him got taken away and everything to first foster home, um, it was really hard on me and everything, and that's why I stopped dancing, kind of. I would sometimes dance at the first foster home, but I wasn't really dancing, dancing. Like, I was really happy about it and everything. I was just, I, I stopped and all after we got taken to the second foster home with family members. They're... They were great family members, it's just the way of how they did stuff. And I think it was probably not good because of the fact that it broke my mentality even more. And so, if I got upset and everything, or if I got sad, it's just I got locked in the room. And I couldn't do anything. And it's just, it broke down my me mentality really badly that I fought so badly on myself most of the time and everything and it was just it was probably not the best way of taking care of a child that went through something really terrible and yet uh, that's how that's how that happened and everything but it's also like I had to try and learn to read on my own like I would get read stories to try and help me go to sleep, and they didn't let, they're like, they didn't help me go to sleep, like, I questioned, and I wanted to, to read more, but I didn't know how to read, and so, like, I think, probably first grade, I started trying to teach myself to read, not fun, not fun, but that's how that went anyways, and so, when I started dancing again, though, it was helpful to learn that it was what would help relieve my stress because I wouldn't sing at all, really, to the songs because I didn't know how to pronounce really words. I was, like, consulted on how to say something in a different language. But also my mentality got broken down more in sixth grade. And everything because um, after sixth grade, I didn't go into choir seventh and ninth grade. Like, I there was not in choir at all. Yes, we did have someone new, but I was also trying to focus on sports because I didn't ha know how sports would play with with like concerts and stuff. And I think it it might have taken me away from one concert, but still, I didn't like that. So. I kind of just didn't join choir, but also because the first year in seventh grade, I thought we were still supposed to have the one teacher that broke down my mentality on my singing and made me feel like I was just terrible at singing. But it wasn't that. It's just more off that I'm not good with high notes or I wasn't good with high notes for a bit. And I'm still kind of not. I have been getting better, especially with actually singing and knowing how to say the words in a different language because singing the different songs in different languages is kind of helpful for me because it's what I listen to and knowing how to say the words in the song just helps me be able to sing them so then when I sing them I can actually do the notes and say the word correctly and it's just it's kind of helpful but when I was in 
when I was in sixth grade, I just, I could not really do much because I was like losing my voice so much in sixth grade doing all those high notes. It was basically ruining my voice so much that at some points I could barely even speak. That's kind of the reason why I didn't want to be in choir because I was losing my voice so much and I thought I'd be put on a really high, on the soprano part and everything. Yet yeah, sixth grade we didn't call it soprano, we just call it the high part. <laughs> but. I thought I'd be put on the high part and everything, and I didn't want that again. I didn't want to be put in the wrong area and everything, especially because I could no longer do the notes because of how hard they were for me and how they affected my voice. And it was because I was, I was using it for the correct reasons. It's just the fact of using it for the wrong notes on how my voice was developing at the time which I still had a higher voice in sixth grade. I didn't have such a deep voice, but I still had somewhat of a voice that was starting to get deeper and everything, listening to the guy's songs and trying to sing them. Yes, at some points I would try to sing them and everything. Not much though. But because of that, it was making my voice a little bit lower on how it was developing. And so it was no longer sounding so girlish. And that's why my voice got ruined so many times because of the fact of always singing guy songs and singing the high parts and the choir songs, it was just two different types of tones were really messing with my throat and making it hurt so much, which is also why I kind of got sick as well, because when my throat gets hurt sometimes, I also get sick. Not anymore. Not anymore. If my throat hurts, it's usually because I already am sick from something. Or it's because I'm losing my voice. So, yeah. No. Um, last year, I was... Like, 8th grade, I also lost my voice. But that's because I actually kind of got sick at one point. And everything. And so, because of that, I was just losing my voice in general. And when I got better, my throat was still hurting. Like, I was no longer sick sick or anything. It was just my voice was... Like, still somewhat there, but I was still also somewhat losing it. And this was at the time when my left arm was hurt. I think. No, not left arm, right arm, I mean. Oof. It was when my right arm was not really injured, injured, but it was at the time when I was overusing it. Because that's what the nurse had said. She said I was overusing it which was making it hurt so much because it was literal from my thumb all the way up my arm that I could feel the pain and I couldn't move it without it hurting so much. And she said it might have been because of the fact of overusing it and volleyball so much because they they were the coaches we had in eighth grade were trying to literally make me do stuff that I somewhat could not do with my arm being the fact of double jointed. Like, yes, I'm able to do some things other girls can't, but them trying to get me to bend my arm and everything to try and serve, it was it was hurting so much. But then the other coach was trying to say I should stick it out more and try to hit it. And it made my arm stiff. It was not somewhat loose. And everything and it was just it was hard to serve at all and everything and that was because like the one had me doing it like that where I had the like his that and the other one had me like the, it was both the female coaches and the other one had me trying to hit it bended and I couldn't do it either way because either way it somewhat hurt because of the fact of already overusing my arm for hitting, well, passing the ball and everything. And so it's just, it was a terrible time. See, I get off topic very easily. <laughs> talking about volleyball when I was originally talking about choir. Oh God, well, I'm done. But yeah. But then it's like also when I was doing the passes, they also had me doing those ways as well. 
trying to see how it was bending my arms and trying to see how it was keeping them both straight. So it was it was just a hard year, eighth grade, but I did lose my voice so during one of our volleyball um, games and everything, during one of the games, not during the practice, during the actual game, I lost my voice. It was one of the days I was actually playing myself. And it was not really good because we're technically supposed to be cheering everything. And I really could not cheer at all. Like I was losing my voice during the game. And it just, it, I lost it at the one point where I could not actually speak at all. Like I was trying to say something, but I couldn't say it. I couldn't get it out. Like it, it just would not come out. So I was happy that some people did understand sign language still somewhat. It's just I do sign fast, so it was a little bit hard, but I was a little bit happy that some people still did understand sign language, so I was able to communicate that I lost my voice and everything, so yeah. Uh, last year, during our musical, during the Peter Pan musical at Mamila, I also lost my voice. Thanks to a girl that's a senior this year, she, she's basically in my brother's grade. Um, she was doing more than making me lose my voice, so she was uh, trying. She was trying to say I was lesbian at the time, and at the time I didn't know I was bisexual because I was beginning of the year. And the only girl crush I had was Amber, but I didn't count it as me being lesbian or anything really. It was just the fact that I really liked the K-pop idol because she was really guyish, but I knew she was a girl, and I was fine with it. But this girl was trying to say I was lesbian, and she was basically trying to touch me in places that you should not touch anyone. Even if it's a guy, you really don't want to touch a guy on the chest because it's just weird. It's just weird in general. But yeah, she's trying to touch, touch my chest and everything, and it was just, it was so weird. And I didn't like it at all. And she was trying to say it was lesbian. But then she was also trying to say that my brother still liked her. Even though my brother never liked her one bit. Like, like, this person lies a whole lot. And the fact that she has a mental disability, they do nothing about the stuff that she does. It made both me and my brother so upset. Everything, but... Because of her, though, I was losing my voice really badly last year. Like, worse than even the volleyball tournament. Like, I actually could not speak, speak for, like, a week. Like, it was just, it was hard in general to speak at all because of it. And I couldn't sing. And it was just, it was hard in general to do any type of thing with my mouth. But I had to try and think like I was still able to sing and everything when I wasn't at Mr. Um, Mr. VP. I'm going to say Mr. VP. <laughs> that sounds weird. You know what? Mr. V Pass. How about that? Not VP. Mr. V Pass. Because that's what some people will say at the bar. Mr. V Pass. But he kind of saw that during one of our rehearsals for the musical. And basically asked me what was going on uh, because it was hard for me to speak. I tried to speak in the low, in the low voice and everything. And I basically told him what was going on. And he was saying, and he basically told me that if I had to go to the lower notes that I should, if I couldn't do the high notes, which I really could not do the high notes last year. Like that's what ruined my voice. Trying to do high notes, but also trying to do them really loud because of that person. Because that person was doing the girl notes, and I couldn't do the girl notes because the girl notes were the high notes. And basically, you had to do the those if you were a girl in the thing. And yes, at the time, I still considered myself a girl last year. But... Because she was singing so loudly, we had to try and reach her really loud singing. And some of us couldn't. 
but while she was doing the really loud singing, she was also mumbling over the words, which is why we had to sing really loud, so then we could actually sing the words, so then we weren't stumbling over them like she was, and because they couldn't tell her that she should be quieter, that's what ruined my voice last year, be trying to sing really loud in that higher note when I couldn't, even though I was an alto. I was an alto last year, but the notes that we I had last year were like higher than the notes I have this year. But still, I really don't think I should be in the treble choir, okay, the female choir, because of the fact of how those, my voice is and how it's so hard to do the higher notes. I think, but I was happy that I did, that I was able to get the guy part last year for singing. Because when Mr. Vanipas heard me singing on the guy part, he said that I sounded better than I did when I was doing the female part when I still had my voice before I lost it. And he said, that's why he said I should go to the guy part as well because of the fact that he heard how I was doing the guy part and how I did really good. So, yeah. Yeah, this is just venting. This is just me being weird and venting. But if any of you want to vent in comments or anything like that, or even just randomly send me an email and vent to me, that is totally fine because I like to listen. I like to listen to people. I also sometimes just think it's good to let stuff out. Like, let your emotions out sometimes. Like, not all the time, because if you let your emotions out all the time, um, your friends might get annoyed and everything. Like, if you're just always talking about how you feel to your friends and saying stuff like that, it might annoy your friends, if you have any. <laughs> I know there are some people that don't. Me, me in younger years didn't have any friends. Thought I had one. Nope, I didn't really. <laughs> well, besides the people that were at church and stuff. But, but if you would like to vent out, it is good to vent out at some points and everything. Otherwise, do try and find something that does relieve your stress. Like, for me, it's the singing, it's dancing. I also sometimes just ra randomly write. Like, right now, I'm still writing a fan fiction that I started last year. I have 45 pages. It's a hilarious one. <laughs> It is really good though. At some point, I may or may not make a video of reading some of it. Or I might even make like an actual fanfic itself, not probably a video on YouTube, maybe on something else. Because I've already made another one, but that one was just 17. The one I've been doing so far has been Stray Kids, Months X, NCT. Um, I did mention Vix in it, but Vix is not going to play a main part like the other bands. I also mentioned Shiny, because the main character's brother is key from Shiny, so... But then she also has her old best friend that she knew when she was younger, who is Taeyong, T-Y, aka, from NCT. So, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to mention anyone else. I also have a like, the main character is a made-up one. I may or may not change it to what other people do for fan fictions and where, where they write the YN for your name. I might do that. But I mostly wrote the fan fiction because I made the character, like, me in general. Like, the name is basically somewhat my name except for the first name. The first name is Clarix. Her name is Clarix, she goes by Clairdo, because if people know her real name, they're gonna know who she is, and everything. <laughs> but, um, that's kind of what I based it off. I just wanted to make a fan fiction randomly that could be a mystery, but a somewhat young adult and everything, where it had, like, not really romance romance, but it had, like, a couple, <laughs> like, just randomness in there. But also, just to be kind of hilarious with it. Because I thought it would be fun. 
but I was also unsure if I'd actually share the fan fiction, which I'm still unsure if I'm gonna do that. But if you guys would really love me to share my fan fiction, I might change it to the YN thing, where it's your name. And then, well, there is some fan fictions where they do have a name, like there's one that where the name was Jiwoo, Kim Jiwoo, or anything. Or even Park Jibu, I saw two that had that name, um, one with Kim, the other with Park, but different fan fictions. But yeah, if you guys would like me to keep the name, that's fine as well. But like I said, I also have a couple made up characters. Um, one of them is basically dating Chan from Stray Kids. Her name is Della, but basically that person is technically my best friend in real life. Uh, I use the, the same letter of the first name because I wanted to keep the first letter but I don't want to use her actual name in the fan fiction because she didn't want me to but also because I just I just didn't want to in general but also because the Della is from one, one of the book series I'm reading and She's this badass vampire. Sorry again for swearing. It's just, it's kind of a habit sometimes. Also, <laughs> it works. But she's this badass vampire and everything. And I love her character and how she is. Uh, so I wanted to use that name Della for my best friend for in the fan fiction because it was basically kind of was supposed to be like this random life that I wanted to make up but I still wanted it to be somewhat me but also my friends and everything so yeah but I don't know if I'm gonna add any of my other friends I may or may not but like I said if you would like me to share my fan fiction and if you would like me to keep the name of the character the main character please do comment down below I would love to have your guys's feedback on that but also, I just, I'm unsure still if I really would like to share it or not. Because it is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye, though.